Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about unions in SQL. Now, a union is basically a special SQL operator which we can use to combine the results of multiple select statements into one. So I might have, you know, two or three different select statements that I'm using, and if I wanted, I could combine all of them into the same result and get just a big list or a big table back from the database. So I'm gonna show you guys how we can do this and I'm actually gonna give us some prompts uh, so we can kind of practice. So over here, I have a prompt that says, find a list of employee and branch names. So this is kind of interesting and we can actually use the uh, union operator in order to do this. So first thing, why don't we see how we could just grab uh, just the employee names and just the branch names. So if I wanted to just grab the employee names, I could just say select, first name, and why don't we just grab the first name from employee, right? So that's pretty easy. I mean, that's as easy as it gets. We're just getting all the first names from the employees. Let's do the same thing for branch name. So I could say select branch name from branch, right? Again, pretty simple. So this over here will give us all the names of the employees. So if I was to just run this, you'll see we get all the names of all the employees and if I was to run this, we get the names of all the branches. But how can we combine those together into one single statement and then just get a list with all that information in it? Well, I can use the union keyword. So over here, I could just say union, and I'm actually gonna get rid of this semicolon. So now we have one single SQL query, which is going to ask the relational database management system to return not only the employee first names, but also the branch names in a single column. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this. And you'll see down here that we get this big uh, column right here. It just says first name, and then we have all of the names of the employees, but down here we also have the names of the branches. So corporate, Scranton, and Stanford. We have all of that information, and it's all combined with the names of the employees. So this is actually pretty cool. And when we're using unions, you can do unions on uh, a bunch of different things. There are a couple rules though. So the first rule is that you have to have the same number of columns that you're getting in each select statement. So in this first select statement, I'm grabbing one column. In the second select statement, I'm grabbing one column. If I was to come up here and also try to grab like last name, now when I run this, we're gonna get an error because up here we have two columns and down here we only have one. So that's the first rule, you can't do that. They have to have the same number of columns. Uh, they also have to have a similar data type. So first name and branch name, they're both strings, right? So they're both of a similar data type, so we're able to return them uh, in the same result. But if you had two things that were very different data types, then it might not necessarily work uh, out as well. So that is basically how we can do these, and that kind of just shows you guys how we can use the union operator in order to combine the results from multiple statements. Uh, if you, we wanted, we could add in another one too. So I could say like union again, and now we could union all of that with like select client name from client. So now I'm grabbing not just the names of the employees and the branches, but also the clients. So when we run this now, you can see we're getting this really long list that has all of these names. Now one thing you might notice is that the column name up here is first name, right? So this is saying that it's first name, when in reality, uh, you know, that's not necessarily what this is. And so over here, you'll say, you'll see that it's first name because the first select statement, the column that we were grabbing was called first name. So that's why that's showing up as first name. But if you wanted, you could change that. So I could say first name as, and then I can change the name. So I could just say like company names. And so now the column name is gonna be company names instead of uh, first name. So now this is just like all the different names uh, that we have stored in the company database. So hopefully that kind of makes sense and that's kind of how we can use unions. I'm gonna show you guys a couple other cool ones that we can do. So I'm gonna pull up another prompt here. Why don't we take a look? It says, find a list of all clients and branch suppliers' names. So this is actually pretty similar. So we can select client name from client and then we can also union this with select supplier name from branch supplier. And so now we're gonna get a table with all the client names and all of the supplier names. So let's run this and you'll see over here we get all that. So we have all of the uh, clients and then we have all of the suppliers. And you'll notice over here on the client table and the branch supplier table, 
Both of these have a branch ID column. So the branch supplier has a branch ID column and the client has a branch ID column. So what we could do is we could use that. So I could say like select client name and we could also select branch ID from client and we could select supplier name and the branch ID from the uh, branch supplier and that'll give us now not only the client names and the supplier names but also the branches uh, that they're associated with. So you can see down here, we get all of that information. Now, one thing I do wanna point out is you'll notice over here, we have branch ID up here and branch ID down here. So the branch supplier table and the client table both have a column called branch ID. And sometimes in a situation like this, it can get a little bit confusing because we have the same column name, but associated with different uh, tables. And so what, what a lot of people will do is they'll prefix these column names with the table name. So let's say like client dot branch ID, or they'll say um, branch supplier dot branch ID. And what that does is it basically just makes it a little bit more readable. So now I know that this branch ID comes from the client table and this branch ID comes from the branch supplier table. You don't have to do that but in a lot of circumstances, uh, it can be extremely useful. All right, so I wanna show you guys one more uh, thing we can do with unions. So I'm gonna give us another prompt here. And it basically just says, find a list of all money spent or earned by the company. So this one's kind of interesting. Uh, all the money that the company either spends or earns, we wanna combine into a single list. So basically the company earns money through the total sales down here, and the company spends money by paying its employees in the salary field up here. So we can combine those two. So I could just say like select uh, salary from employee. And again, we can union that with select total sales from works with. And so now this will give us um, that column. So you see over here, it's all of this money that it's either going in or out of the branch combined together. All right, so hopefully that gives you a good idea of how unions work. Now, obviously these are very simple examples, but you can take this and kind of extrapolate it out to more complex examples. Union basically just combines the results from two select statements. That's essentially all it does. Uh, but again, there are certain rules, like you have to have the same number of columns in both statements and they have to be like similar data type and stuff like that. But uh, unions can be very useful for sort of combining all this data into a single place. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.